Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, thank you very much for the support, for the, the message and everything. So today we're going to talk about this big topic, which is going on at the moment on the media, as everybody knows, I suppose. It's about ink. So today we're going to make a, a, a unboxing and a review of, uh, we tried the first time, this new ink, which is in the market now one of them and maybe next week or week after I got a new one so I would try this uh, different brands and see what what it's about what's the difference between the what was the previous ink and what's the new now and, and yeah and soon we're gonna have also colors new colors which is uh, right now forbidden by the, the European Union European Union uh, whatever is the name for the, this this uh, this section of the government so uh, I will make the whole step by step of the process. So, tattooing, uh, the sketch, uh, what we're gonna tattoo, uh, what needles I'm using, plus uh, shading. So the whole process, entire from beginning to the end. Okay. So bear with me, guys. Here's the drawing today we're gonna use for. So basically, the drawing is for testing this ink, which we have the brand new ink. So here's two two. Uh, well, basically, there's a mirror effect from both. It's a honey mask and it's a, a little birdie I drew a few few while ago. And I, I uh, just pick up my iPad, something which I like to do, and just pick up them because I think it can be, can be done something. You can use the, the solid black, it's a liner, which is the two colors I have. Plus, the, I can make it my, my shade solution also to see if everything is actually works with this ink, how it goes. Um, I'm so sorry for my friend, which is my guinea pig today for the ink. But uh, yeah, let's see how it's gonna go. So this is the sketch. So it's here, it's two sides. So that's why when I print, always I print two, two, two variations. So you have uh, this possibility of, of uh, decide what you're gonna use, that angle. Um, guys, a tip, actually. Uh, any life form, right? So like anything which has life, in this case here, I have a two form life, so it's two organic, uh, a, a bird and a mask. So they should be always looking forward, okay? I see a lot, a lot of people stencil them in the wrong direction, guys. Please don't do that. This is something which is, is really, really ugly. Um, you know, it should always stencil forward, okay? So I will show you now, I will make the stencil, so we're gonna have the whole process stencil, uh, shaving and everything okay shaving is also very important to have a, a right direction I want to make I will make actually two videos as a, as a tip of the week uh, one on the direction of the stencil and another one on the shaving process okay but today you're gonna make a in, in a general video comes with that too but I will make something just like a short videos all in based on that okay so my materials for the day well, so the first of it is the ink what we have here is for this brand, uh, which I don't really, I'm not so much familiar with that, so it's a new thing for me. Uh, it's called I Am Ink. He is in Germany, it's from Germany, I think. This is from uh, here, the address is German address. It's uh, something which is, the box actually looks cool. I mean, it's very clean, neat, you know? So, is this the number five, uh, which is a liner, 550 ml. Here black, uh, darker than the dips of abscess, <laughs> so it's like something, just some, some slogan. Um, so the whole process, the whole new, the, the whole thing about the ink, which has been banned, is about the, the, the what is in ink, no? so the, 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 what is the, 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 the um, composition of the ink, basically, uh, what is the, preservants and stuff which is an old ink which apparently by some expert is something which is cancerous or potentially cancerous which I sorry guys I totally disagree with that it can happen I suppose like everything if you smoke you're gonna you have a higher chance to have a cancer right if you drink alcohol you have a higher cancer everything you know you put in your body which is not healthy, but what you can, how you can judge healthy and unhealthy nowadays? There's so much crap out there. Um, but they have this thing now. If our ink, our business is someone is has a problem with us from general tattoo world, and that's how it goes right now. 
So here uh, it says on the composition, so minimum heavy metals. So it means they say in a in the ink. So I noticed some colors has metals inside, some heavy metals like the red stuff. But there's a minimum particulars there. And plenty of things you eat, you know, has that. So it has here 100% vegan. Yeah, I mean. I know that at some point, back 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 in the day, some of the inks had some sort of fishy side of colors and shit inside, but that's not there anymore. So that's the main point, guys. So he says, no acrylates, not preservatives. This is the point. This is exactly what was the problem, what put us down in the business now, is these two little words here. So basically what was, as I can, I can, I can explain better, as I am an old school tattooer, I've been tattooing for since uh, 1996 professionally. I mean, what we you know professionally means for that time back in the day, how it was. And um, so I can I can distinguish inks in two parts. So split in two parts, but of course there's more parts in there, but before me, right? So first before 2000s, after 2000s. So what I meant there is before, before 2000s, most of the ink were based only in pigment. So it was powder, was a very minimal conservat the preservat the preservatives inside. Yeah, right. And was not created at all. So when you let it, the ink dry on the grip, on, 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 your, on your grip, yeah? After tattooing, or you just lay your machine on the table for five, 10 minutes, and the, the, the mixing, which has, or, or whatever they, they use to, to, to make it like become a, a liquid, dries off. You would, you could make it like this on your, in your gloves. It would be really, really fine, really, really fine powder, a really fine powder. And that is, it was, it was, it was basic powder, right? And then after 2000s, they created this new generation inks, which is this vibrant colors, which you put in the skin. They stay very long years. with very, very powerful, intense colors which I saw tattoos from the previous times, which from very amazing tattooers, which is Philip Liu and um, Maurice Teodoro and some others, you know, Austrian guy, um, very good artists, I, you know, which I had the pleasure to meet, um, some of them. Uh, they basically, they, they, they pigment the skin with those old school pigments and the things until today they do, and they stay the same. Well, it's about technique. Make it easier for tattooers and beginners to work with the new generation inks, which is which has acrylates inside. So acrylates is this. When you let um, the most uh, I could explain is if you let it dry, it's the same process as the previous ink on it grape. What would happen? Is you would have a, the very very shiny layer of ink on a grip on the tip. And you cannot remove it. You can make it like this. Your finger was to be as kind of plastic. So that's what was acrylated. And the preservants. Preservants, there's something which every ink, oh, everything, sorry, sorry, pardon me. Almost everything you eat, something you buy, things which you put in on your mouth, is has inside. Basically, McDonald's, the older McDonald's in the world, is this in, in Reykjavik, right? Is there since 10 years, the same cheese, uh, how you call those things, mac cheese, mac, whatever it is, I don't eat those stuff. This thing is exactly the same shape was 10 years ago. It's in a museum there, you can see it, Google it. The McDonald's, uh, the oldest McDonald's in, on the world is in Reykjavik. The thing stands there in display without nothing, no fridge, nothing, and it stays exactly the same as 10 years ago. And this is why they put preservatives inside. So you put that in your body, Nobody says nothing, but because now someone has a rush with us, that's it goes in our ink. Anyways, that's not money about so much, pardon me. Um, so now, uh, okay, that is the point part. <laughs> um, very important part. E E C H A, or other word, reach. So R E A C H, conform. So this is the the, the, the the org of a community European uh, org which is responsible for this thing, which they supposed to be for everything. So not only for tattooing, right? So these people, and this is what has to be on the box now. I have no problem with that. 100% no problem with that. I have nothing to talk about it. 
not against the guys at all, not against who tell The only thing is, I think this is not just, it's not justifying that they now, they put one thing down when other million things are also, also need to be looked at and also dangerous us or even worse, because this is not dangerous to your body at all, I can tell that. Okay, here's another study by some um, doctor here in Germany from the hospital Charité. And actually he makes a, a, a live autopsy on a camera, right, showing the amount of ink it stays on the lymphatic system, which is the big things they're talking about. This is totally bullshit. It's not as much as they talk, but it's something more than, let them do that, okay? It's not to, to me, nothing to do to you guys. Let's keep it simple. Uh, then here come down to no Azo pigment, no PAH. P -A -H. Sorry, I don't know that. That's something a bit more complicated. Bro. So, four to five, the storage um, temperature is four degrees to 25 degrees. Full information inside the box. So, when we open the box, you can look at a lot of things in there. Blah, 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 blah. Name, name, name. So, let's see how it looks like inside. So, this is the bottle. So in the bottle consents ta, 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 when it was made and when's the the validate ingredient oh here man so basically it's pretty much what had we used in the back in the days water glycerin propylena glycol so I think some sort of alcohol then some C, CI77266 number PVP, Scienticon, uh, which I don't know, and some warning stuff. Then who's making it? So the number, first generation, which is okay. So I am ink, time as black. So the number five. So that's the liner. Liner and I use for shading. So that's the first one. So let's open the box quickly to see what is inside. Let's see if the box allows me to do without breaking apart. Okay, wow, you still have even something to write down here. Wow. Mr. 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 Leva is a, he really applied a lot of things. So it's so we have in Deutsch, I suppose Russian, Spanish, Polska. Portuguese, oh, but English. So pretty much we have covered all the European, European Union, Union, European, European Union <laughs> uh, language. Okay, so let's go to the English parts. I could do some other, but this is center. Mixture for used tattoos. Not suitable for tattooing eyeballs. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, I don't want my black anyways. Uh, contain nickel can cause allergic reaction contains chromium vi v1 can cause allergic reaction best before batch number still able to be used with 150 days after opening basically that's what it is so uh, document for your inks for safety and your customers some e-code here well Honestly, I, I find this great, okay? As in my personal opinion, open date before best, blah, blah, blah. So, 03, 11, 24, so basically two years. Patch number. So, again, that's the liner one. Well, let me check it out, the, the, my, so that seems like I have to keep this for the next 10 years. Okay, same thing, the same stuff. The patch number is different. Thanks a lot. That makes me happy. So it seems like as so this is the number six. So that says pigment black, true pigment black. So it says it's for tribal, true black pigment. Then we have a number seven, which says urban black. What the heck is that? So guys, seriously, uh, tattooing used to be much more simple now, back in the day. Well, I never. Never thought I would be making a video on unboxing inks. So I don't gonna bother you guys reading again the same thing, the same thing information. Okay, so guys, this is one part of it. So again, I will make a next week, Monday, I will make another video 
based on 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 the new Niana Inc. are gonna test as well, which another brands is in the market right now, and then so and so on. So as soon as I get like a colors and stuff, I'm also gonna bring that because the colors are not available yet, unfortunately. So here we're gonna work on this. I'm gonna work inside which which of them are gonna choose to. So both like the same size, same same drawing. Uh, also gonna talk about uh, my needles I used today. Uh, my two machines, the the machines I so that I made a video less not very long ago. So, so the ones, ones uh, liner which I'm still in love with. I highly recommend it. Um, a viewer was uh, was asking me about uh, my opinion on it. So again, as we spoke, I, I really really love the machine. I really think it's a great machine. Um, as it's still you know. If you are, if you have other machines and you want a specific liner, that's the go for. One hundred percent go to go for is reliable, it's beautiful, very beautiful stroke, steady and super, super light and nice to handle. Here's my old school, my lovely, beautiful, four years old, no, three years old, four years old. I don't know exactly how old is that now. Uh, old uh, first generation Scorpion from Ink Machines in, in Sweden. Dude, I worked with this machine for very long. I did line work and everything. There is a perfect hybrid. So if you have a hybrid machine, again, you know, hybrid machine is perfect. But if you want something more precise, something which you can work with, and you have another machine which you don't have to rely on, so you can have that one. But they also, again, you know, you can also have a lot. This one is a called a color packer, but you can use as a hybrid. And you can use for for coloring for for lining as well. So it's one. This is a black. That one is uh, orange black, and then the shader is green black. I, think. I don't remember. I don't recall right now. But this is definitely for if you have a the money for it, of course. Plus uh, you have another machines to work with, which you don't need to rely this only this machine. That machine to go for for lining. Okay. So this is my everyday machine. Loved machine. A uh, friend of mine, a good friend of mine, a few days ago just did a touch up on her for me, which was, uh, she was a bit sick. She had a, 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 a cover, uh, cold, but now she's back on black again. Um, then my, my needle selection today, because we're going to do some fine, fine line work here. So, you know, have the bird has some very, very fine details on the feathers, a uh, little furry little thing here on the, on the, on the, the beak. So I'm gonna use a third. Uh, this is from Quadron. I use Quadron liners. So for everybody knows, this is my my selection of needles normally. Um, I try sometimes different needle. Uh, that's not that I'm a. F no, there is no rules. It's only what you feel like and how you adapt yourself with, right? So this one here is a, a three liner 25. So this is the this long taper. So this is the LT here. So it's RLT. So R L L T. So round line and long taper. Uh, Twenty five means is the thickness of the needle. So how thick is the needle? So for these guys, it's the thinnest they can get. And the long tapers that there's a really the group is mounted it's really long and really really long, so that you can have this very perfect line like a, a fine hair. Well, you can have one liner, one line, which I have as well. So this is my second choice, which is a twenty five, which is like the same size needle. So pardon me. Uh, liner, same thing, long taper, I prefer to work, work with long tapers, seven rounds, so here, let me put like this in, in sequence, yeah. then here, my third uh, option, because I need to, I want to get some bold line around the, the mask especially, so give them a little bit more, I was still on the bird as well, gonna give some bold lining, so we work with seven around the bird, and then three inside, send some very soft shade on the board, some parts a bit dark, so to have this contrast. The mask I will have a, like a very hard black, so solid, solid, 100% solid on the, on the head, on the hair. So then I'm gonna use a magnum for that. So this, and for so the outline of the mask, I'm gonna use a 35, which is the thickness of the needle. Um, from the, the, the Commercial needles, commercial needles, which you find anywhere, that's the thickest one, right? Back in the day when I used to have this, uh, um, how can you say that, old school needles, which is a needle bar 
uh, needle weld in the needle bar, I could even get it 40 gauge. So that was a very thick needle. I love the needles actually, by the way. It was really nice to work with it. Uh, but I don't use uh, normally shade, round shaders for that. I use always liners. Uh, some people use round shaders, but if I want to have a big, a bigger, a bigger bolder outline, I use ma uh, seven magnum. Uh, seven magnum for me works perfect. To me, I have a very nice precise round because you know I make thicker liners and so on. So this is my 35 round nine round liner long taper. Same thing. Then here, for I have a two different shades of uh, shapes of Magnum. I, I use my personal choice is curve soft edge. You know? I don't know why. I just got used to it for many years. I used that and I like them. So I have uh, first one is a 3511 SE MLT. So this is a soft edge Magnum long taper. Same thing. So every single letter has a meaning. Okay, S E M L T stands to S soft edge, magnum long taper. Okay. Then same thing to the 15 mag for the big areas on the hair. On the hair, same thing, all the way long. Here you have to keep eye on on uh, on the the due dates. Yeah, the due dates is very important because this has a, is is. is Pre-sterilized on machines. So this due date is very important. So this my ones here stands for the 11th of 2025 in the patch number. Okay. So please guys keep attention there. Just because sometimes if it's overdue, it you can have a little bit of a rusted needle or something you don't want to you know to deal with. Okay. And then the inks that we got now, uh, pretty much is it. I will make the stencil now and I go back to you in a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> So guys, back, uh, let's open the bottle. So this is the triple back, so you see it's, it's, it's sealed still. Oops. Let me see. And please always wear gloves, guys. Don't uh, do not do this without gloves, please. Yeah. Keep clean as much as possible. Reduce as much as possible. Cross-contamination. Okay, I got it. I got it. Uh, I will leave here. So later I can show you guys, it's, 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 it's powder, should be powder, at least it should be powder, it's just, okay. So I do this, this is a used thing, so I always hold a, a white paper, clean paper here, just in case if you forgot to open, first forgot to open, I don't have a mess around, oh, so just do a little proper shake, okay, shake a little bit, because especially now this ink is powder, so it's, it has the, the potential, will possibly, all the powder stay on the bottom of the, of the, 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 the tube. So when you you pour on your ink cap, will be only glycerin and stuff, only the mix, not, not really the, so only the things you can mix it, okay? So you see inside, you can hear, it's a little, normally it's like a little ball inside just to, it's definitely it's, it's definitely powder. It's definitely pigment. I can hear it the way it's, it's also the way it shakes. The way it's cool. Yeah, I like it. It's just something which I am used to when I was 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 young, back in the day, back in the day. Okay, let's see. This is so. This is the black. Is triple black. Pouring here. It's very liquid. Okay, then when you close, always close that so you prevent to have this leaking ugly colors around your tip of your 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 your, your, your tube, okay? So now let's do the other guy here, which is the smaller one. So this is a bit different, so I need a scissors. Okay, so guys, then after you finish your work, always sterilize everything, yeah? Clean everything. I don't touch this in the skin or anything, but always keep clean, always use special liquids to clean stuff and so on and so on. If you are here from Germany, for Berlin, you can go to Perfor and buy this at Perfor. There's a tattoo supplier here from a friend. You can get them then there. Unfortunately, now we don't have a color. She used to have a lot of big wall full of nice colors and stuff. Now it's sad. You go there, it's like, where's the color gone? So they're gone. So it's very black and black. Mm -hmm. 
I have it because this is brand new. You don't. It's it could be just one or minute or two minutes on shaking it. Okay. So this is something which I just like to show you guys. So obviously, pour in my ink cap black. Then here I will pour. So I have a three lines there. So I pull my one first one up to three quarters. Then here I will count down the amount. So one, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So why is that? That is because I'm making, I'm mixing my shading on the, on the ink cap myself. So this I use. Uh, many people have a different recipes for that. Some people use water. Uh, the water, by the way, I use is um, this mineralized water. So basically, it's not even distilled water. It's this mineralized, so it has no minerals, nothing inside. It's pretty, it's, it's very good. I use for my tanks as well. So it's a pure water, okay? So this is rose water. So it's a very, uh, it's used for cosmetics. So to ladies use for cleaning the face and so on. It's just pretty good and it smells pretty delicious as well. And helps to get, to reduce the, the redness of the skin. Which it does, then I fill up the ink cap with it to the end. So that's it. Try to keep everything clean always, so you see the paper is not dirty, so I can use for different tasks. Okay, so now I will make a style tattoo. I will explain a little bit what I'm the line work and so on, and the process will be done. You guys can see later. Okay, and then we see us again in the video. Guys, um, so we're gonna start the process. You guys can. So I did the stencil this way because uh, if you could see it here, the, the board goes this direction, so it's forwards and the mask. So we have a unidirection thing, which is uh, very important. So it's very important the life, whatever you stencil on, your client is always looking forward, okay? Never stencil things backwards, please, okay? So let's go. In here. So if it don't look like I'm stand, I'm stretching because this area here is a very stretched area because it's a cuff. So we don't need so much force of to make a. And here I want some lines to be very more thicker than the others. So, but if you ever, if you guys have the money and and uh, the time and patience on, I recommend to get maybe the. The ones color pattern, which is you can easily hybrid, so you can use for lining as well, and for and for um, for coloring, which is super cool. Or you can buy also scorpion which does the same, I use for many years for a few years already, scorpions, only scorpions I just got this new machine here because I'm pretty particular, if I want always to try if it's a good, and a good friend of mine told me about the machine here but I highly recommend it and I, so I decided to take a, a, a look at it and it's definitely what he said I first had his machine for a few days. It was really kind to get to borrow to me, so I said, "Okay, try it." And really, did what he said was 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 about. I don't know, it's in and um, really had the the the, the machine is definitely one hundred percent great machine for line work. You can only touch the skin, just touch the skin and bingo, the line is there, in, you know, the needles are good as well, so, I actually, I tried the in-house B-Shop needles, also felt really good, also really nice needles. Really nice 
grouping me those. But I'm used to, to quadrum, so also the locals now, they're from nearby Poland. So I never met, I don't remember to meet them personally, so but I cannot tell about the guys itself. Sometimes companies are great stuff but you know but I don't have experience with them customer service wise. But the the needles are always very stable. I mean I don't have a complain of throwing needles away because the needle was not well grouped or well cared on and put it together which is used to be back in the day when you had the, the normal the old school needle bar assemblies uh, you had always this kind of issues you know maybe from 50 needles you would throw in at least at least 10 of them because companies they didn't really care about how the, the people put it together and then you come with banded needles or needles not assembled together properly and that obviously affects you, your work, your tattooing so and I don't think I had to come across with these problems since I'm working with cartridges and I like the hygienic part of it which is much more hygienic much more cool and I don't know, it's just me, I guess. I still have my old machines, my old, old school machines around in the box. I save and sound, I will pull some up in the future soon. Because it is a shame to have so many cool, very cool old school machines in a belly box there laying on the corner. They are safe, they are really nice, clean and so on, with the loops and everything, so they are not rusting away or anything. It's also a very nice collection, it's been collecting for many years now, but um, I think they work more to look to look at sometimes, you know, and just like say, oh, I love this machine. Have a, all of them have history, you know, where I worked at this place, or I was traveling to that place, and I bought it, or I met this friend, and then some of them, I, old friends gave to me, they were the old my first machines and so on. So I have a two or three machines that mean a lot to me because they are from from people I know. They are the twin same as I do, long the same as I do. Unfortunately my first machine is lost and the whole traveling situations around the world and so on. So I've just lost the machine. So it has been stolen and um, unfortunately gone. But then I had the pleasure to get people's machines, friends of machines and these machines for me worth so much sentimental you know so I don't give them away or don't you know some of them are modified now they are um, they are not original anymore because at the time I, I got emotional about them and I started to use them but I didn't like the setups I didn't like the way they look like whatever so I end up at this time change them around and obviously now I look back so this was a mistake because we should have a keep it them original they come to me but unfortunately didn't you know and but they are around they are in the box with the other ones and um, and they have a, an immensely crazy value to me sentimental because they are from people who are really really beloved people to me people I respect so much they work great and the personality are great and I had the pleasure to have the first machines from them. It's just something really special. I think because I also learned to, to, to touch machines and many people didn't have the play, the, the patience to do that. So they end up asking me to touch them, and to, to tune them and stuff. And then I end up getting the machines afterwards as well. Along the way. Mm. So, so far, I think this ink is it's a bit more hard, more, more difficult to apply, I must say. It's not as easy as I was expecting, maybe because it's pigment and I'm not used to them anymore. So, it could be that. So, it's not like I'm a magician and make like a 
everything is oh no I didn't care about it, it was easy no it's not just not true at all seems like a little bit more hands to, 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 to apply so let's go to outline of the body a bit Sugar pew pew so this pew pew here I draw a few days ago and they have the mask I have uh, already drawn for a very long time but the pew pew here has a I was just looking for something I want to tattoo or something would be fun to tattoo while I'm doing this video so I decided to do the pew pew and the, the, the body and today I was just okay why not join together make a body holding a horn of the, the mask because it's two beautiful things and why not do together and it worked pretty nicely hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear it, the, the machine's working. It's a bit more loud than the other one. I must say, it's, it's loudy. But it's not aggressively loud. I have an old school machine which is ridiculous loud. So here I have my tray of ink, so it's around me, so I don't have it to waste. And a lot of time. A lot of time going around to get um, the ink, you know, because also it's a lot about your in the movement, the repet repetitive movements on your body. If the ears get a bit more, so here I do line like this, with a straight A to B line work. So this is my seven. Seven uh, rounds, there's a round liner, long tape, needle. Yeah. Make a bit softer line inside here. But it has very light feathers as well. Definitely special way to work, I think. Just, uh, uh, so far, I didn't like it. It's, 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 it's interesting, some different thing, right? So. Details because they're so tiny. You can how you apply them, how the line work goes. Mm -hmm. 
So the trade is gonna move around a lot. There's one to have us access to the top two. So these little fine hairs here, the important. So here guys, is, um, as you see I just do like A to B line work and try to get as much as possible long range line work without keeping the, the needle on the skin all the time so you don't need to go so many times over so the less chances to shake the line work or something like that so you have this very very nice straight line um, so. Okay, now again change the needle to a fine one to details. Then I preferably I always make my grip my tube a bit longer on the needle, which is make the longest stroke. So the stroke is long, but um, I show more the needle actually. Sorry, on this. This again is personal choice, right? So it's me. It doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have a rules for that. It's just me. Tattoo has no, well, certain rules, of course, but in this sense, you create your own style. Create your own way. Tattoo. As far as the principles are there, everything else is just good. Hygiene especially, you know, there's a lot of hygiene involved in the train, please.
So I use very fine line work here and try to keep it as light as possible. So, because this is the body of the board, so I don't want the board to look heavy. And in this case, here I have to avoid some line because it's super small. So always guys a lot of patience, especially for line work, it's patience, something you need to be yeah, to me. In general, everything. Everything you do in life with patience come out better. So guys, when you make a small tattoo like this, you should always look into the, the amount of details you're gonna put in it. Because if you make too many details in such a small space, it can become less later in the process. To this one, please. Pretty much clean most of it. Keep clean. Not much thickness, not much of it. Sometimes less is more, or most of the time. Just the German on the bones I chance all the time. It's something of the lot. Last is more, he says. And I thought it was good.
show is time to for the process of shading. So guys, um, my how you could say um, my overview for now of the ink is, is, is good, works, uh, pigmentation is, is there. At the beginning, I felt a little bit um, hard to 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 get, adapt myself around the pigment because it's, it's pigment, you know? so it's not as the old ones. Uh, the shading is. It's very flowy. I mean, overall, at the moment, I could say it's faster to agree with that. So I could say yes, it's good. I could work with that. I will try a few more times to get back to you guys. Uh, I would. Rec I can't say I recommend it yet. I can't say this is something you know is is what we have illegally. So we can't say yes, yes or not. You have to use it. It's not the option. But I can just say what I experienced with it so far. Uh, let's see how it's healing, the healing process goes. Um, but a lot of the healing process has to do with the, the way your technique is as well. So it's not only about the ink, the materials you're using, but the way you apply the ink on the skin. And uh, the next video will be made on another brand, another company. And so then we're going to try something different, something else, and then I get back to you again. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up on the knees, comments, if you have any questions, anything to do with tattooing so on, or about materials, whatever, or suggestions as well, be very helpful, because I cannot cover everything, I cannot remember everything all the time. Um, as a tattooing, learning tattooing process is a long, vast period of time, it's not, we cannot cover that in a few days of videos, it's, it's, we take a long time, and I'm here to share my knowledge more than anything, and I'm not cheating on nobody, I'm not giving like you must do like this or like that, it's just what I experience, what I do, or, and I'm also learning that. So thank you very much for now guys, and see you soon. Thank you.